All right, we just got back from the Pixel 4 event and it is finally here, the Pixel 4. And you know what we did next? We definitely did some gaming. Now, before we go ahead and check it out, let's take a quick word for our, from our sponsor for this video, Surfshark VPN. So as mobile gamers, we know quite well sourcing a good VPN to play some of our favorite games can be a hassle. Now, with well over a thousand plus servers in 56 countries, Surfshark VPN gives you a ton of access to play the games you love. And for me, that is pretty cool. Now, this isn't some regular VPN. It's also loaded with a full security tool suite, which includes HackLock. Now, this gives you real time alerts when your emails and passwords are at risk of being hacked. And for me, this is a great personal tool because I wish I had this earlier in my life. A minor feature I do like with Surfshark VPN is that it offers unlimited access to as many devices as you like at the same time. Now, this is great considering the price at just $47.76 for the year. But as a Borderwork fan, you can get it for 83% off and an extra month free if you enter the promo code Borderwork using the link in the description. So go ahead and do that, guys. Now, let's not waste any more time and get back into some of that awesome gaming. So the Pixel 4 and 4XL are finally here. No more leaks, no more rumors, none of that stuff. The device I held it in my hand, it looks really nice. At least I do like the, I like that orange color. It really pops out. Uh, the device, of course, as you can see, has a 6.3 inch display. There's a big chin on the top and bottom. It's got that radar. There's a reason why it's there, but we care about gaming and starting off, let's start off with that display. It's a 90 Hertz display, which means, look, as a gamer, you love that. It's also got, of course, uh, the ability to vary that 90 Hertz. So basically if you're not gaming or not using anything that requires it, it will customize it for you, which should save out on battery life. And speaking of batteries, we've got a 3700 milliamp battery, it's, uh, which of course is nice. Uh, on the 4XL, on the Pixel 4, we have a uh, 2800 milliamp battery. Now, the other thing to note is this is powered by the Snapdragon 855 processor, one of the best processors on the land. We've got six gigs of RAM in there, and we played some Call of Duty Mobile. That was one of the, you know, it's, it's the hottest game out there. So I figured I might as well do some Call of Duty Mobile gaming on here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look. Now there is no audio, but you know, it's, it's pretty loud there, but we can see how well it actually games on the system. I mean, I've got to say the Pixel 4 XL's 90 Hertz display is great. It's great for games like this. Precision is so much better. Um, and, uh, you know, in terms of gaming, it handled really well. 
Uh, in terms of temps, I couldn't measure temperatures, but it kind of ran rather warm. So I have to do a full gaming video to check out temps, also check out the speakers as well. So if you want me to do that, let me know what games you want to see. Call of Duty Mobile, is it Fortnite Chapter 2? Those kind of stuffs, and I will do that for you guys. Hopefully, I can have that pretty soon. Now, the Pixel 4 XL also comes with a ton of other features. It's got a USB Type-C charging uh, as well. So it's got a fast charger, 18 watts. You've got wireless charging built in. You do have couple of new features with the built-in radar. So the radar allows you to do gestures to actually unlock your device. You've also got facial unlock on this device. There is no fingerprint sensor on there. So the face unlock is the one thing you're going to be using. And it's pretty fast and snappy on this device. And now overall, I like what I'm seeing here from the Pixel. I have to spend more time with it. So you guys wait and see. But hopefully you enjoy this look at what gaming looks like on the Pixel 4. Excel. Now, if you want me to do the same thing on the Pixel 4 or just combine that in my gaming video, leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and always enjoy your entertainment.